Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I honestly think that EA has broken pack luck right now on FIFA 23 because the footies cards are flying and I especially got even more lucky than I ever have. I think I used up all my pack luck in the last two days for the entirety of this is FIFA, man. Look at my coin balance. It is up. I'll explain why it's so high today and we'll talk about some of those insane pack pulls that not just I'm having, but a lot of you guys are are having as well and of course we have more to grind since those SBCs came back that we were hoping to see and also we got to think about what content's going to be coming today so we're going to talk a lot about the footies menu grind once again today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up subscribe if you're new let's talk about content yesterday because hey we mentioned it in yesterday's video a crafting objective is what came out and I'm glad that there was another one because we're all doing this crafting upgrade SBC a lot right now as it is or at least some of us are and now we get some extra packs and a nice Lacroix 96 rated center back card to go alongside of that medium high they boosted his weak foot to four star and he is a lengthy guys lengthy in August that is something to be proud of with 99 short and long pass reactions composure strength jumping that has to be a pretty cracked out card especially for the fact that he is lengthy throw a shadow on that item and boom that is going to be an insane card premium item as well and of course some nice packs along the way 85 times 10 in there 784 plus 85 5 that's a w right no if ands or buts about it w from ea and the footies rivals bonus is back as well if you're playing any rivals right now um, or if you need fodder this is a place where you can get some lower tier fodder no problem with that as well now let's go to sbc's because we had the refresh guys the important to refresh of our favorite sbc the 85 times 10. the only kind of caveat to yesterday's content was the upgrade to the 85 times 10 in terms of how many times we can do it every single day was very small we go from five times a day to seven times a day with the requirements being exactly the same yes it is a dub 95 percent upvoted the 84 times 10 97 percent upvoted who's surprised right we can continue our insane craft and our insane grind on the menus i was hoping that the 85 10 would maybe be the one that would become unlimited repeatable but i guess we're not quite there yet in terms of where ea wants this game to go i, I think they're still holding us back just a little bit now also yesterday we had an 82 plus player pick which had the exact same requirements as the 81 plus player pick that went away last week not bad still though guys i think the crafting upgrade is miles clear of that 82 plus player pick if you want to do player picks right now do the 87 plus player pick with fodder that you get or like what i'm doing a lot of right now the 90 plus tots shapeshifter or footies player pick because it gives you an opportunity at those 99 rated cards i've actually got two of them because i opened a 400k pack to uh, end the stream yesterday i've got two of them right now that i want to rip open for you guys because i'm chasing the 99s that's not a 99 that is a 98 and I'm actually just going to take the team of the season for the fodder because I don't want to be unassigned. And I've packed Allison at least four times already. And boom. Okay, so not too many great ones there. But with all the 84 times 10 extra fodder that I'm getting, that's where I'm putting it right now. Just because I'm tr chasing after the Benzema and the Messi, especially the, the Cristiano Ronaldo, right? Those sorts of cards. But hey, we're not complaining because, again, the menu grind is back. And that was the most important part of all of this. Now... Yesterday, you guys maybe have uh, you heard or you saw that I packed some really, really insane cards, and I'm talking about the footies pack look being broken. Uh, guys, it's it's crazy, right? Obviously, these packs look crazy, but for some reason right now, it just seems extra crazy with all of these cards that are in packs. Ginola and Rashford, their prices on the market just keep going down because people keep packing them. Ginola is under 700,000 coins. Rashford is 700,000 coins himself. And that was who I packed in yesterday's video. If you went and check it out, it is on the second channel. We're going to have another video there today, guys, because not only did I pack R9 on Sunday, but that was the crazy pack look that I was mentioning. And that's why the coins have gone up so much. Somehow I have packed him again, guys. And this time it was tradable out of a 7.5k preview 
pack. And it's not even that insane to get a lot of good coins and a lot of good pulls out of a 7.5k pack right now. Let me talk to you guys about that. That's kind of why the footies pack look is cracked to a whole nother level. The 7.5k pack theory is actually alive and well right now. Now, right now, I've already done my preview pack and I actually can't make profit from this one. But inside of these preview packs, guys, there are so many things that sell right now. And you're like, Nate, you're talking about preview packs in August? I am because this is just a fun way to trap pack cards tradable and make coins i did like five of these in a row yesterday where i packed three team of the season cards and in the ones that i didn't pack team of the season cards i was packing position modifiers which again sell for three to four thousand coins different managers like canadian managers on the market sell for like four or five thousand coins as well because of the links that they give out that people need and want right now in this game i sold a canadian manager for like four thousand coins that paid for most of a preview pack again Preview packs are like cracked right now with the best of being out. It's absolutely insane, guys, because, you know, the pack look, I don't know. It's just crazy with the best of being out there and the footies as well. And I think it has to also do with the fact that we're opening so many packs at the same time, right? The 84 times 10s, the 85 times 10s, we're all just spamming packs right now. That's what this game is. It's not even about, oh, how am I making coins or like what content are we expecting? You know, it's all just about the packs and grinding all of those through the SBCs and crafting and fodder being virtually free for everybody because it's everywhere right now. And it's amazing, right? And it just feels like it's cracked. I've got an 84 times 25 right now, guys. And I want to actually show you something. If you're like starting to get tired of the grind, because let's be honest, right? We're opening so many packs and grinding so much. And if not a lot is changing, it's going to start to get old, even though it's so insane. It's going to start to get old right now. I want to show you something that is a little bit interesting. It's going to save you time while you're opening these packs um now it's kind of like a glitch i don't know how we how we haven't figured this out this game has been out for almost a year and we hadn't figured this out until this week at least this is the first time that i heard about it basically there's a way obviously right now when you open a lot of packs like oh 85 times three probably gonna get a tots uh let's see Okay, I didn't. Wow, that's actually crazy. I didn't get a TOTS card in that pack. But a lot of the packs that you open right now, you're getting TOTS cards. I'm just going to quick sell this Raquel Knight because he's going to be in the way. But um, if you want to just actually skip those couple seconds of the walkout animation, you can do that. And it's kind of crazy. I'm going to show you this. Through an 85 or an 84 times 25, there's kind of like a little skip pack method. You have to have a preview pack that is opened. And that's the key to all of this. It won't work. If you don't have a preview pack that is open, like right now, I opened it. I'm not going to buy it. It's sitting there. So the way you do this is go to the pack that you'd like to open. You're going to hit L1 on the PlayStation controller and then X to open the pack. You're going to go L1, L1, X like that. Or if you're on Xbox, LB, LB, A to open the pack. And you have to do it pretty fast. But basically what it does is I'm going to show you right now is it skips the animation and it saves you a couple seconds. If you're grinding a ton of the menus, it might be kind of helpful. So watch this. We're going to open an 8425 with doing this method, right? Boom, boom, boom. And it opens the pack and watch. It's just, it's just going to appear. Who are we going to get? We got Lom. We got five team of the season cards. And let's go to the back. Boom. We got Mascherano. So there you go, man. I, I didn't have to see the walkout of the Tots card and I got to the pack right there. So, you know, it does kill a little bit of the suspense and a little bit of the hype inside of it but i think it's kind of cool because you can save yourself a lot of time especially when you're grinding through the 84 times 10s we've seen the pack animation all year and if you just want to get stuff done in this late stage of the game where you maybe don't want to spend a ton of time on the game that extra little glitch right there is going to save you a lot of time so i wanted to point that out to you guys today because i think that's actually pretty important and useful information on this game right now kind of like we talked about in yesterday's video as well make sure you're checking your clubs because guys random cards sell for a lot of stuff like selling silvers and bronzes that uh canadian manager for 4.9k anchors at 2,000 coins shadows i was selling and still a lot of the position modifiers for 4,000 coins a lot of these are still selling guys so make sure you're listing your stuff up also lazy buyers are out and they're very very prevalent right now this r9 was not a lazy buyer of course that was from my crazy pack i just got to keep it there a little bit longer uh but if you're listing up high rated team of the seasons or you know tots cards that you pack they sell for a couple thousand coins over the cheapest price because people are just doing a lot of sbcs now Let's talk about content today because, yeah, we'll probably have a couple things coming to the game today. I'm not expecting a massive day of content. EA know that it's already really crazy right now, right here on this game. Now, one SBC that's going to be refreshing today that is, of course, of note, the 84 times 
30, right? You get the tradable packs back from it. I actually have not done it yet, but it's going to refresh today. So you'll be able to do that once more. And the 83 times 100, guys, it's been in the code. We've seen the 82 times 100. Is that going to come out today? I feel like there's a slight chance of that. I also feel like there's a slight chance of a player SBC, but I don't think there's going to be that great of an opportunity to see one of those. Now, one thing I will say is make sure with the refresh of the daily login, you get that done. Today's day five. Can't miss any days. We're on day five right now. So if today for you, you'll be on day five, you're good to go. You're up to track and you're on track. Make sure uh, you don't forget to do that one today. And then other content we could see today in objectives, we actually might see new weekend league bonus rewards. Um, last week, of course, it was the crazy one where they kept changing them. It was play five, win five, win four finals, and win eight finals is what they finally settled on. Before, remember, it said footies. Then it changed to prem in league one. Then they changed it back. Hopefully, we get new bonus rewards today because that just gives us extra fodder packs. And, and why not? They've set that precedent there of having that just about every single week. So we have hope to have that once again today. And guys, I'll say this about the, the market right now a little bit too. Like we mentioned with fodder, if you're trying to trade, I know it's like, Nate, we're trying to trade in August. Hey, we got to talk about it for just a second because some of you guys are maybe wanting coins. The best trading method right now is opening packs they give out tradable cards. That is like the best trading method right now in this game. But if you want to grind the market a little bit, again, the bronze is silver. So if you're in the low tier, and then, of course, trading with some of these top tier team of the seasons, like they actually move 94s and above. They sell for like 15, 16,000 coins on the 94s. Uh, you get lazy sales there. The 95s are 15K. Some of them go to like 20,000 coins randomly. You know, Kimmich, Modric, some of these guys, they move. So, you know, flip those cards if you'd like to um, on the market right now. The Schweinsteiger we shouted in last night's video. I literally looked on stream today. He went all the way up to like 380,000 coins. And now he's back down to like 300K. But he was like 300K last night and went up to 380 and now he's back down 300K. Like these guys move, man. The market is moving even in this late August time period because people are playing this game. There's a lot of fluctuations that are out there. So just keep a note of that as you're doing the 84, 85 times 10 grind. Now, a couple other things I want to mention to you guys really fast. First of all, there are beta codes that were sent out again. Make sure you check your email. I tweeted about this yesterday because I got an email while we were live on stream that we actually got an, a beta code. Now I already have one, but another one was sent to my email. Make sure if you had not gotten a beta code in the earlier release this month, seems like EA sent out a second round of codes and they opened up all the different modes, ultimate team, kickoff, clubs, Volta, everything is open now on the FC closed beta. So check that out there. And we have had massive news around FC24 in a couple of days. I think, guys, there's going to be a new announcement here in the next couple of days. Nikki Kai, one of the leakers that we've been following on Twitter, has mentioned that there could be some ones to watch news between today on Tuesday and tomorrow on Wednesday. So keep a close eye out for that. We might have some official new news on ones to watches or just brand new news on EAFC in general. So that's something to watch out for today in the stream guys and the content will be rolling we'll be doing more upgrade packs i don't know who we're going to pack today but i'm going to keep crafting those 90 plus upgrade packs with the 84 and the 85 times 10 that's where i'm going to rinse these cards and uh yeah man we're just going to keep grinding on the menus make sure you check out the second channel video today we're going to have another video with some packs so i'll link that right above right here but without further ado guys check that video out and i'll see you guys in a video tomorrow it's with native foot account and catch you guys there peace out